Hello guys, welcome to EasyTV Presence Tech View, uh, another episode. Uh, today I'll show you guys um, how to remove a database from SQL Server always on Availability Group. So before I do that, I just want to give you an information. So I have a complete full video in my channel, which is uh, I sh on that video I shows um, complete uh, SQL Server always on high availability setup. And I used four node cluster. Like usually people, like enterprise level people, they do with two node. But in some case, maybe uh, you can use four node and maximum, you know, it's total eight node you can use in one SQL always on cluster. Availability group. So, um, If you want to learn from the scratch how to or set up or install or configure a SQL always on high availability environment, you can watch my first video. So I'll provide the link on the description box for the first video. And this video is advanced level. That means whenever you have uh whenever you have a SQL always on availability group cluster environment, um in that case. So sometimes you need to add more database on the ability group or you need to remove a database from the ability group. So today's video, that's what I want to show how you can remove a database. How you can remove a database. So it's gonna be a short video, how to remove a database. And then another video I'm gonna show you like how to remove a node. So you have a four node uh, cluster. You want to remove two of them, or you have a three node cluster, you want to remove one of them. If you have a five node cluster, if you want to remove three of them, how are you going to do that? So, node removal, database removal, okay? So, two things I want to show. And then maybe another video I will show you how to add a database, or maybe in this video I'm going to show like how to, how to remove and how to add. So, both we can do here. So, how to remove a database and then how to add a database. And then we're gonna show you, then I will show you actually um, how to remove a node, but how to add a node is a lot of steps. Maybe uh, that can be a separate video. If you want to add a new node with your existing always on inbar. So that one will be completely actually separate video because there's a lot of steps you need to do. But removing is pretty simple. So that's what I wanna show you right now. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. This is 100% practical and um, I think this is the screen. Okay, all right. So I believe all of you guys are able to see my screen. So I have total, uh, actually I have before four node, I already removed one of them. So which is the first node I removed. So this first node is not anymore in my, I have the server, I have the SQL installed on this, but it's not a part of, my availability group, my cluster. So I'll show you till how you can complete the remote. But first I want to show you here. Uh, so I have total three node here now in my ability group, how you can prove it. Because if you expand it, this is my node number two, this is in my Virginia database, I'm at data center. And another two is my New York data center, C, N, Y, SQL, N, Y, SQL. So one, data, one node is sitting in Virginia data center and another two uh, 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 like nodes in like another location, remote location. So how, how you can check? Okay, so I have a lot of databases running. You see here, test, test, synchronize, everything is synchronized because all of them are already added. So if in this video, I, what I want to show, I just want to show uh, how to remove, right? So before you remove, you have to make sure which one is now acting as a primary. So I'm going to check my first one because I have now three node, right? How am I, uh, I know this is there, there's a three node. If you expand your uh, availability group and availability replica, you're gonna see three replica, right? One, two, three. So node number, node name is zero, two, zero, four, and zero, three. And zero one is actually, I removed it previously. That's why it's not here anymore. Um, um, basically, before I made this video as uh, a test, I removed that one. Um, so that's just not in the part of this group anymore. So now I have three, right? 
but this one shows this as a secondary. So which one is primary? I don't know, right? So I should I should check. To expand the node number three, which is located in NY near, um, and see here, this one shows primary. So that means my node number three, zero three, is that um, my node number zero three right now? Is a primary acting as a primary, right? And other two is a secondary. So and also all these database is running. If you look at here, database expanded, and you can see everything is synchronized, synchronized, synchronized. So that means everything working fine. And now, how are you gonna remove it? That's the question, right? So it's pretty simple. If you want to remove a database, it's pretty simple. How? Just right click here in database. So for example, we're gonna Remove test 03, okay? So right click on it. Remove database from availability group. So anything remove is pretty easy. Okay, so then click okay. It's removed. So 03 is not anymore. And if you refresh this, you're gonna see something. Um, okay, well, where it is. Okay, so just refresh all of them. Refresh, refresh, and refresh. Okay, so expand this one. You see what? Test 0 T is not synchronized anymore. If you look at the other other node, database expanded, what it shows? It's restoring. It's restoring, right? And if you look at here, database is restoring, right? So what are you gonna do? In here, this is the primary right now, right? This one is acting as a primary. Right click on it, just say delete, and close all existing connections. Check mark here, and okay. It's removed, it's completely removed from your this node, but it's still sitting on your other node, right? So right click on it, the same way, delete, and close all connections, click OK. And then this one, right click, delete, close, close connection. That's it. Completely gone. It's completely gone. Now, this is the way you can remove a node. This is the way you can remove the node. Now, if you want to, re sorry, 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 it's not remove the node, remove the database from availability group. This is the way you can remove the database from the availability group. And now if I want to show you actually how you can add a database, how you want, how you gonna add a database with the availability groups. With, so you have a total of four, three node, right? Three node, four node, two node, it doesn't matter. I, uh, the same way, same process. So I will show you here right now. Um, how to add, right? So it's pretty simple way. Just create a database. First, I'm going to create a database. So for example, this is the primary right now, right? This one is the, uh, let's check. This is the primary, right? Okay, so let's create a database here. Right click on it, new database. I just as a sample database. Uh, say the name is again test uh, 03 AGDB, something, something like this 03 AGDB or whatever. And and there is something you need to do, like we have to take a backup or you have to change the auto growth. It's up to you, it's different settings. I'm not going to discuss about this right now. I just, I just want to show you how. You can add a database, like if you have a database. So actually, my target is not to create and showing how to create a database. It's not my target. My target is to show you how you can add that uh, database, which is not part of your availability group, and how you can you can add that database with your availability group. So that's why I'm just creating this one. So I'm I'm, I'm not expanding that much here. Add. Oh, sorry, not this one. Okay, okay, that's it. So now we got this one, right? 
So the condition is, if you want, whenever you remove it, you just right click and remove, right? Delete, that's it. But whenever you wants to add any database with the availability group, this database is not available with your other node, right? Because this database is not the part of your other node. So how are you gonna make it happen? You have to take a full backup. Go task and backup. So when you click the backup, where it goes? It's going to local local data store of this instance, in this box or this node. But the other node will not be able to have access in this. So you have to take a backup in a common location, in a shared location where all nodes in your cluster, all nodes have the access. You have to put, you have to take backup the database on that location. So this is not the location. If you want to add it. So I already added a location. Click OK, full backup, and OK. OK, so test 03, successful. Now, now you can add this database with the ability group. How are you going to do that? You see here, ability group replica here, right? And uh, ability database, you see here database. You have up to two, but three number is not here. How we can do that? So right click on the ability group database, add a database. And I click next. You see here, test 03 GB is has a met requirements. That means what? All the other, other database is shows already part of availability group, but this is not availability group, but we meet already prerequisites, which is meets prerequisites means you already you already took a backup, full backup. That's why. So check mark on it, next, and then connect your other node. Make sure whenever you do this operation, you're gonna uh, log into the uh, node with the service account. You see here, SQL admin, I logged in as a service account. I'm not sure something was wrong. Uh, it's not responding. Just give me a second. Sometimes this happened. Okay, all right, disk. Now it's coming, okay. Okay, next. Now, you have to specify the location. So I have this location. Okay, so all other nodes have the same location. So that's only one thing you have to make sure you are saving or you're taking the backup on the share location where all other nodes have access. That's it. And you have to provide that, that link. Okay, validation is successful. Click next and finish. So you see here, it's already created and close it. All right. So now this is restoring, right? Just refresh, it's synchronized, right? So what are you gonna do? Just refresh all of them. Refresh all of them, refresh all of them, and refresh all of them. Now let's see. Okay, so check here. You see, here, expand this database, see, it's synchronized. Expand this database, see, this one is synchronized. So if I do this summer, so like so if I summarize what we did so far, so we remove a database and then we add another database with the ability to. That's what we did, right? Now, you can see uh, availability group. So all availability group, oh, this one is secondary, okay. And if you look at under this node, which is also in New York, uh, three, number three is in primary right now. But if you have to 
fail over to the uh, Virginia side. If number two on Virginia note, if you want to make it as a, um, a primary note, how you're gonna fail over? So you can do uh, like um, what is called uh, manual failover. So right click on the ability group and failover. Click next. And then it's going to show you the available replica. So right now you see three is not showing here because three is already holding the primary role, right? So now we are trying to migrate that primary role to the other replica, available replica. So we have another two replica. One is in New York and Y, another is BA Virginia, right? So if you want to move it to Virginia, select this one, say call 02, right? And click next and connect. Connect. Next. And finish. All right. So now if you refresh, refresh it, refresh it. So this is the manual failover. Now if you can check the this node, the number node number two, which is located in Virginia data center, go to the high availability. You see here, it's a primary now. You see, it's a primary now. You see, it's primary. So that's how you can do the failover. And also I'll show you how you're gonna do, uh, like incident happen. Say for example, now this is the primary, right? For some reason, if this primary goes down, what's gonna be happen if this primary goes down? So let's do it. So I have my, um, okay. So this is my, so right now primary is which one? Look at here, the primary is ELS BPW VA SQL A02, right? Virginia, node number 02 is, is the primary. So for some reason, how we get is, this one is the primary, we did manual failover. Now I'm gonna show you the actual failover. Actual failover means something happened, incident happened. So the Virginia node down. So we're gonna make it down. How are we gonna make it down? So from my VMware, this is the host, uh, this is the node uh, you see here. So I, I just wanna this power off or disconnect the node. You don't need to power off. If you disconnect the network, that means it's gonna be on the BM, uh, on the BM side, it's gonna show down because if you, you don't have network, how are you gonna communicate? So I'm just going to disconnect the network, disconnect the network. So as whenever I disconnect the network, you see, this is the this is the node number two, right? Is is gonna be disconnected. It's gonna be disconnected. So this one is, Disconnect now. This node number two is disconnect. Network is disconnect. If you look at here, network, you see a network shows disconnect. That means this machine is gonna be show. You see, it's, now it's, um, the connection has been lost because there is no network. That means it's gonna treat as a, what is gonna show? It's gonna treat as a down, like the host, the node gonna treat as a down because there's no network. It can be happen. Like it can be down or it can be um, like the machine can be powered off or maybe network issues or maybe hard drive issues or maybe CPU issues. A lot of things can be happen. But anything happened, that means the node will be disconnected, right? So now this node is disconnected. So whenever it's disconnected, it was primary and it's disconnected. What's gonna be happen? Okay. Okay, now if you, so this is disconnected, right? I'm going to remove it. It's disconnected, so I remove it. So now I have two, right? Let me re refresh and check. I didn't do any manual failover. So let's see if it's failover automatically or not. Check here. You see here? Now, 03 acting as a primary and, uh, and four acting as a secondary. And if you look at the availability replicas, what it shows? Secondary, but this one doesn't have any secondary or anything. 
because it's already down, down step. So that's how, that's how you can remove it. That's how you can remove it. All right, so, sorry, not remove it. That's how you can test the failover. So what we did so far, we remove a database, we, and then we add a database on the ability group, and then we test the functionality, the failover functionality, failover functionality, like manually we did, and also like automatic. Automatic means now we make it down one host, and automatically it fill over to the other node, right? Now, if you want to delay, how are you gonna delete it? So for example, say I'm going to, I want to delete this one from the available group. So where do you have to go? Which one of the primary you have to go there? Right click on it. So this node is, this one it shows. Uh, it's, it's, it's shows secondary, but it's crossed. That means it's down. You don't need to make it down, but in the running host also, you can do the same thing. Right click on it, remove from the ability group. So we're gonna do this one, this one is down. I can, I don't know, I, I want to do this one. Say remove from the ability group. And okay. What's happened? It's removed from the, it's removed from what? It's removed from, from the availability group. So now what's, what I gonna do? What's I gonna do? So, I'll show you in another video. In another video, I'll show you actually how we can add new node with your existing SQL always on. But that will take time because I have to prepare another one or two machine to, to node and like applying install Windows, applying patch, install SQL, and then install cluster, all of all those things, right? And then I can add it. All right. But in here, actually, I had two nodes. So I removed them from the, I removed them from what? I removed them from ability group, but still it's in the cluster, Windows cluster, both nodes. So, so far I removed uh, node number one and node number two, but I showed you guys only node number two, but node number one, I removed it previously. So both of them still in a Windows cluster. So we're gonna, we need to, if you want to decom the removal nodes, you have to remove them also from the cluster, Windows cluster. So well, how are we gonna do that? So before I do that, let's connect the, sorry, let's connect the host. So first, connect the network. Okay, oh, connect the network, okay. And this is this is our first node, right? So this node actually this node. Um, okay, if it's still showing here, but if you refresh it, it's gonna remove. Replica, okay, stream of right, okay. Uh, so the, now we are we are viewing this one from SQL Server Management Studio, and from where node number zero one, but node number zero one still it is not a member of the your availability group, but still it has a database. If you log into the node number zero one, zero one, and log into the Node number zero two, which we remove. No, not this one. Which we remove from the ability group, right? So still, it has a database. If you wants to remove all the database, what are you gonna do? Just delete, close, close, okay, done, close, delete, close existing connection, okay. Right click, 
delete, close, okay. So I'm right now I'm showing you completely decommission, how you wanna do the decommission. That's what I'm showing. You just remove the nodes from the ability group, but it's not mean that you decom the nodes or you decom the server. So that the complete decommission is delete all the, all this connections. So it's gonna take time, but I don't need to actually, if I do that, decom. So what next? I have to remove them from the, uh there's clean up okay how now i'm going to show you actually how we can remove a node from the cluster because when we build when we build um sql origin cluster so before creating the sql origin cluster you have to create you have to create windows cluster it's a requirement it's a requirement before you create sql server all as on ability group, before you do that, you have to make sure you have a Windows cluster. So what, what the removal in node, the step procedure is, first remove the node from the availability group, then remove all the database. But if you decom, you don't need to actually remove the database because you're gonna delete the whole virtual server, right? But one thing you have to remember, you have to remove them from the cluster, which steps we are doing right now. So from the cluster, Windows cluster, fill up a cluster manager from the tools. It's gonna be open here within short time. Okay, it's coming up. All right. So this is our cluster. If you go to the nodes, it's gonna show you all for node. You see here, he show you all for node, but node number zero one and zero two is already removed from the availability group. So you need to remove it from the cluster too. So how are you gonna remove it from the cluster? Collect it, uh, actually right click on it. No. Oh, let's, let's say, FC cluster, right click on it. Properties, resources, okay. There is options called, Okay, more action, destroy cluster. Oh, no, you cannot close the connection. Connect to cluster. Okay, all right. So the nodes, Thing in the row, maybe. Here, I just got it. So how are you gonna remove it? We need to remove this one, right? So select the, first go to the, on the right side, select node, then it's gonna show all the nodes in a cluster, uh, in a cluster, and then select the node. And on the right side, you see action. And in here, more action, evict. If you click evict, are you sure you want to evict node this from 
the cluster, that means you're removing. So this word is a little different. Usually we know like remove or delayed, right? But this is not the, that's why it's like, it's, it's not tough, but like maximum time, most of the people, they are confused because they don't get the options. It's not like directly says remove or cross, right? Or delayed. So if we note this from the cluster, like yes. And it's gonna be, now is doing the process. The way you add it, now it's doing, uh, removing process is gonna be removed from the cluster. The same thing we're gonna do for this one. And say, click, evict, and yes. All right, so we successfully removed them. And now what do you need to do? Now you need to, if you do want to do decommission, and so what do you need to do? Just uh, go back to your B center or be a virtual machine, log in, you can do RDP, RDP to it, or you can do what? So now I'm here, right? So my three, node number three and four is available, but the other node is not available. Okay, so let's remove completely, completely remove. So I already logged in there, but I'm going to remove it. So my node number three and four is available, right? That's why I'm just going to four because in this one, ooh, 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 yeah. And then, actually, I don't want to type. That's why I'm just taking from there. Nothing else. I just want, I don't want to type. That's why I'm just taking from there. And you see, four, oh, four is connected. Actually, three. I need to connect three. Number three. Okay. So three and four are connected here with the on the three number node because each and every nodes I have a SQL maintenance. Uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So any from anywhere you can connect. That's not a problem. But the reason I'm going to uh, close it because I wanna decom this one. So I'm gonna close this one. And how are you gonna decom it? Just go to the Server Manager and Local Server and click here Computer Name and change and from the member of domain, just go to the word, word group and type anything, whatever you want, and click OK. So the reason is say, welcome to the this and OK, OK, and close and restart. So you have to wait until it's completely restart. So now you can check the status on from your B Center what it shows. It shows restarting, right? Until it's restart complete, you have to wait because it's gonna remove the DNS entry from your Active Directory because it's created a computer object, right? So we're gonna check actually how it's created on the Active Directory. So from the Active Directory, I'm going to now check my Active Directory server. This is my active directory. This is AD, my AD, right? So I have a computer object here. Uh, it's a Virginia node, right? I know it's a Virginia node. You see here, um, SQL 01, is, it has, see here, it's disabled. That's what we want. And then maybe you can move it to DCOM OU if you have, or maybe you can delete it because it's not anymore with that. It's not anymore with that. AD plus it's already removed DNS. If you go to the your DNS server, DNS 01, I'm just logging there and wants to check, is there any DNS entry? If you have a DNS entry, you have to remove that DNS entry. And if you are not responsible to remove the DNS entry, whoever is responsible, send them email. They make sure this DNS entry is not available anymore because you are going to decom, right? So this is my DNS server. And what I'm gonna do, 
and I'm, I'm going to remove the machine. Okay, so this machine I don't need anymore, right? So this machine I don't need anymore. I'm going to power off. Yes. It's power off, right? And then right click. If you want to delete, completely delete it from your environment, you don't need anymore, right? Delete, say, if you don't need it anymore, then you can say delete from disk. And if you think, okay, I maybe later on I need it, then you can remove from the inventory. So it's gonna be stay on the data store. Later on, if you need it, you can just re-register. So, but we know we already doing decommissioning. So as a decommissioning part, you should click delete, like delete from the environment for, for like forever, delete. Yes. Okay, it's deleted forever. So we're gonna do the same thing with SQL, SQL 02, right? As a decommission process. Okay. Drive safe. Oh, 0 0.1. I don't know why. So, uh, what I shows here so far, so far what I shows like how to remove a database from availability group, how to add a database with your existing availability group, and then how to remove a node and also how to decommit a node. So that's a complete video, all removal, right? But how to add a node, I'll show you guys in a separate video because there's some procedure. Till then, stay safe and thank you. Thanks for watching. Um, and if you are new in my channel, and if you're not subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe my channel and also share my video if you think it will help you. Give, give, a, give me a big thumbs up um, and I'll see you in another video. Let me close this, everything.